Hearing from Knox County Sheriff about his bid to get another four years in office. Right now, the man he's running against used to be his boss, the former Knox County Sheriff. Keep in mind the vote that pitched Sheriff Tom Spengler against challenger J.J. Jones isn't happening until next May, so you won't see them on the current ballot. New at 5 reporter Blake Stevens sat down with Sheriff Spengler to find out why he wants another term. I think there's some more things we want to do and complete the ones we've started. That's why Knox County Sheriff Tom Spengler says he's running for re-election. He faces his predecessor and former boss, J.J. Jones, in the county primary next May. In March, Jones shared with us his concern with the number of officers leaving. It's a challenge Spengler acknowledges. Yeah, we've lost people. We've lost people because of what has gone on, because of COVID, because of the attacks on law enforcement. People have gotten out of law enforcement. They continue to do that today. We had one employee that left to go drive an ice truck. And as he told us, he said, I can make $60,000. Spengler has advocated for employee pay raises to county commission every year. He secured a 6% bump in 2019, $1,500 bonuses in 2020, and in this most recent budget, he advocated for an 8% raise. He got five. They're out here at night. They're out here on the holidays away from their families. They're out here possibly going to take a bullet for someone. They're out here being spit upon. They're having to do things not the average person does on, on a daily basis. And we've got to make sure that we take care of them, and that's a priority of mine. What was not a priority of his, though, was enforcing countywide mask mandates and business curfews last year. He even referred complaints about restaurants or bars to the county health department. I'm not going to go in and enforce and, and make people suffer anymore, and that was my decision. And, uh, and I'd stick to it today. Despite the challenges facing law enforcement and KCSO specifically, Spengler is optimistic about the agency's future. And I want to be able to complete uh, the task that we started and to make sure that we, uh, when we do go out, that we have left the, uh, the agency in a better uh, place than when we started. In Knoxville, Blake Stevens, WATE 6 on your side. And we also sat down with former Sheriff J.J. Jones in March. You can watch their full conversation at our website, WATE.com. You can also hear Sheriff Spengler's full interview this Sunday at 1230 on Tennessee This Week.